I thought we'd have another Welsh one because I found tonight a wondrous thing. I'm from Tylerstown originally, way up in the wrong valleys, and someone else in the room is from Tylerstown as well. So if nobody else understands this, <laughs> you, you will, okay? Good. This is called the essence of being Welsh. Come closer now when I'll explain the essence of Welshness, straight and plain. This poem is both true and right. I know, I've been Welsh all my life. Fact is, we are a funny crowd, loving, loyal, fiercely proud, composing verse and singing songs of Heerath and of all the things we long. We are a very pious people and a chapel roof or churches steeple. But these thoughts make some turn pale. They worship where is served good ale. Us Welsh are quite a musical folk. Along the hills our voices float. A stranger in a foreign scene once asked me, what does all this mean? Tell me now, is it true? Can all the Welsh sing? No, but we all do. <laughs> <laughs> the Welsh are such a rugby nation. This triggers joy and consternation. Because when we win, our hearts so high. But sometimes we cannot score a try. Each year we take the Grand Slam test. And defeating England is the best. We'd be victorious, there's no doubt, if they heard our cries of, Give it out! Hard work in Welsh, steadfast and sound, mining coal from underground, through tough times with futures bleak, when poisoned air filled valley streets, we toiled down where the black dust swirled, but this nation's heart did fuel the world. Our language, rich communication, can cause visitors some frustration. Must most speak in English, but cannot help, using the medium of Welsh. I put my coat down by that chair. I shifted it over by by there. <laughs> Ma'am, can you help me show me how? I will love in a minute now. I haven't seen old <laughs> Mrs. Proctor. She's barred in bed under the doctor. What are you doing by there, Bach? I'm planting seeds at my granny's back. A healthy and a varied diet, lava bread, you have to try it. Leeks and cockles by the score, fresh roast lamb, may I have more. Harps and Welsh cakes, daffodils, crooked houses line the hills, coastline stretching on for miles, a friendly word, a wave, a smile. In urban town or country vale, the perfect shire in Tolkien's tale, we Welsh like hobbits are content. In every way our lives are spent. Join in friendly company, them and us, and you and me. Laugh and love, enjoy good cheer, because there's really no contest. The best in life is all that's Welsh. <laughs> I'd read one from my little book, which is available at the bargain <laughs> price of £4.99. Um, and this is also not autobiographical at all. This is called An Awkward Age, ladies of a certain age. <laughs> we'll appreciate this. 51 is a dangerous age. I want to try surfing or go on the stage, take all my clothes off and dance in a cage. Yes, 51 is a dangerous age. Go out with my girlfriends, come home at three, meet all my heroes, invite them to tea, attend a rock festival, camp in a field, eat lots of grapes, that young man has just peeled. Fly up a mountain, it's my last chance. Fly down to Brazil for a wild samba dance. Become a painter and suffer for art. Write tragic poetry, this one's a good start. I could run a half marathon for charity. Only thing is, I've an arthritic knee. Party all night and then watch the sun rise. Order a burger with lashings of fries. Catch up on music I've somehow missed by being a housewife and bringing up kids. Get down and dirty on the dance floor? Probably not. I'd be shown the door. Go to a concert, scream loud at the band, then to a barbecue down on the sand. Experience life, not sit and read books. Hitchhike to Israel, live on a kibbutz. I'll start off a protest and burn my bra. Okay, that's going a little too far. Laugh loud in public at corny old jokes. Attract the attention of nice looking blokes. 
I've always wanted an artistic tattoo and maybe a body piercing or two. Grow my hair long and have it dyed pink. Who on earth cares what others may think? Exactly. When in my twenties I was far too obsessed with opinions of others on the sides of my chest. The thirties decade was buying a blink, working, children tied to the sink. Forties and at last a switch had been hit. I decided I'd take no more of life's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where you were going on that one. <laughs> now in my fifties, self beliefs at my core. If only I'd managed these thoughts years ago. So now no one stop me. Get out of my way. I'm loving my life more than I can say. So what if my children think that I'm mad? Their opinions don't matter. In fact, they're quite sad. I'll have to close now because I'm off to a rave in ridiculous heels because they're all the rage. All life is for living, once said a wise sage. And 51 is a fabulous age. Yay. I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.